I'm coming to you from Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. My little uh, home studio, our home studio, which we refer to as Evie's Terrace. If you follow me on the Instagram, you see lots of cat pictures of our our very exotic and uh, feminine black cat named Evie. Uh, so I'm here for your entertainment, and uh, I'm since you've joined me, I'm not going to play any of my own songs. I'm just going to play some entertaining music for you people, and I'm going to start. Uh, much of it is what I <laughs> refer to. I feel like it's classical music. Uh, so this is a classical rock and roll song from uh, from Michigan. So.
Now for our next uh, selection of songs that you didn't ask for. <laughs> um, I'd like to play the UK B-side of the Sex Pistols' God Save the Queen. Uh, many years ago, my first big band that took me uh, globetrotting around the world this is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and we used to do this one, and it's called Did You Know Wrong? pretty good. I don't know if Warner was watching, but Warner always liked it when I added babe into John Lydon's lyrics. Did you know wrong, babe? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the right way to use a clip-on tuner. You clip the tuner on the guitar in between the song. You use the tuner to tune the guitar. This one is a TC Electronics tuner. And then here's where it gets really good. You take the tuner off. Okay. Just 
case you were wondering. Okay, uh, it is. This is a special happy hour performance. Very, really uh, nice of the six man people to uh, invite me. For those of you who haven't been on the boat, as we refer to it as the boat, which was for a lot of people the last good time we had before the the bug kicked in, uh, six man are our hosts on the boat on the uh, on the Outlaw Country cruise. They do several other cruises, and they're like uh, they they kick butt at doing a great job taking care of the bands and uh, so it's really nice that they invited me to play for you get my backdrop going there okay so in keeping with my uh, what I'm doing here of playing songs that I didn't write and uh, just songs that I like for you since you're stuck at home just like I'm stuck at home. Here's another sort of... It, it, it's not a folk song. So far, I'm three for three non-folk song action. Here we go. You know, if you're anything like me, you've probably gone through most of the uh, most of the documentaries that are on the Netflix and the, the ZZ Top one. Although they left out a lot of details, there was a lot of personality on that thing, and I really ended up liking it. 
I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't need to know, you know, all the bad stuff about Bill Ham and how he held other bands down in Texas so ZZ Top could do better, or the fact that he wasn't really a record producer and didn't even really show up in the studio. I didn't need to know all that stuff. It was more fun to see that those guys have been together for 50 years, and they seem to enjoy getting together and playing together. Okay, so during the time that we've been staying home, I've been pretty religious about staying home and because I live in the epicenter of the pandemic. Uh, but during the, I've referred to it as the shut-in time, I have released some music on Bandcamp, what I'm calling the shut-in singles series, which is a sort of takeoff on a thing that I was doing on Facebook that I still do, the uh, Backyard Sandwich series. Uh, so if you go and look for Eric Amble Bandcamp, you can find the shut-in singles series, and I've been releasing various tunes that I've had, a lot of them just because I own a recording studio. So every once in a while I record a tune when I'm not working on another great band's music. Oh, so I need another guitar for this. This has been my real, uh, this is the Recording King guitar. And it's been my uh, real companion during the shut-in times. And uh, the most recent thing that I released as part of the shut-in single series was a track that I did for a compilation. Uh, I did my own version of the Nick Lowe song, 12-step program to quit you, babe. Uh, and you can get that on Bandcamp. And uh, that's from his record, Impossible Bird, which... Uh, was a kind of a career changer for him. If you don't know the story, uh, before he made that record, he had become a zillionaire because a song that he wrote was the B-side of a really big single. And no one ever heard this B-side with his song. But it was the B-side of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, which, if anything counts, under the word ubiquitous, it, it would have been that song that summer. Anyway, Nick Lowe, Curtis Steigers recorded, uh, I think, What's So Funny, and it was on there, and even though no one really heard that version, Nick Lowe got paid for it. And it was our good fortune because then Nick Lowe got a great band and went out on tour and with uh, Bill Kirchin playing guitar. It was, it was, that was our luck. And, uh, and so here's that song, 12 Step Program. <laughs>
I'm gonna pick out a place to dine Except ten will begin after we get in Note to the songwriters, before you write a song that would be like that one, which was what we call a list song, unless you're Nick Lowe, just don't do it. It's really hard to remember the words to a list because you can't even put yourself in the story. It's, it's just a list. You're, you're singing the list. Okay. Uh, again, I'd li really like to thank the... Uh, people from Sixth Man for uh, inviting me to play for you guys for happy hour today and uh, I'd like to send a shout out to all the people that the nice people that we've met on the boat you know I've been on the uh, Outlaw Country Cruise a couple of times with a bunch of different bands Sarah Borges the Yahoo's I played with Mojo Mary Lee's Corvette sat in with a lot of bands it's always it's been a great time and uh and all of us musicians are feel really lucky to get to go on the boat and i hope you know that we get to go on the boat again someday <laughs> left-handed that part I I didn't I couldn't figure that out today I got it right once uh, but I couldn't get it right today but since I'm looking at you left-handed before we go I do want to do this song for the people that have been helping us so much the the, uh, the medical the doctors and nurses and medical techs and not only them the uh, the people that are working at the grocery store and the drug store, people that are really keeping us going through this tough time and I uh, and I so I want to thank them and I want to thank everybody else that's really been sticking with the plan and staying safe to take care of not only themselves but all their friends and neighbors. So here's a, another old song that I think uh, is good for us about now. Let's drink to the hardworking people. Let's drink to the lonely of birth. Raise a glass to the good and the evil. Let's drink to the salt of the earth. Say a prayer to the common foot soldier. Spare a thought for his back breaking work. Say a prayer for his wife and his children. Let's 
sixth man and everybody stay home stay safe take care of your friends and neighbors thank you so much